We are pleased to be joined by a motivational strategy speaker and mindset life coach, Stacy Renee, with us on the Oakland County Megacast. Stacy, thank you for being with us today. Hi, thank you very much for having me. This is great. Yes, it is great to have you with us today. How have you been since we've last spoken? Fantastic, keeping busy, getting everybody motivated, and constantly shifting their mindset. So it's something that we all need right now, as you clearly mentioned earlier. <laughs> yeah, keeping a positive mindset during times like this that are so stressful and there's so much information that's being thrown at us, whether we're seeing it in the news media, reading it, or just from general life, it's really tough to stay optimistic and, and keep that positive mindset moving forward. What are some strategies that you are suggesting to people that you are a life coach for or and just general strategies that you're suggesting to the public to keep that positive mindset going forward? Sure. Well, thank you so much. Um, and I think right now during this time and kind of always been in the past, but everybody seems to take things personally, depending on their own mindset, where they are in life, what's going on with them. If people don't return their text messages or their calls, they start to take that personally. And if you really look at it, you're making it about me, myself, and I. And the problem with that is you are just so absorbed into your own thoughts and the way that you think. And the reason why we do that, of course, taking things personally, is your ego. Shocker, I know. Um, your ego, the definition, if you re really look at it, is a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance. If we have all that in check and we're confident and we believe in who we are, we don't take things in a different context, a different way that it doesn't really need to be, right? Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I'd agree. Absolutely. So when people are feeling ha you know, like sad or hurtful, it's because they're not getting the response that they are expecting back from somebody. And I have a great analogy and a great tip and a tool. If we think about the $100 bill, which I have one right here, Handy dandy hundred dollar bill, and I like the hundred dollar bill because, you know, I mean, you got the ones, the fives, the tens, the twenties, but hundred dollar bill kind of just sticks out because wow, it's a hundred dollar bill. And if we look at the front side of the hundred dollar bill, it it's something where we first look at it and we say, oh gosh, we're looking at ourselves and taking things personally, making it about me, myself, and I. We we get hurt. But if you look at the back side of the hundred dollar bill, we need to think about the other situation, the two sides to everything. And the back side really is maybe the reason why they didn't call you back was because they had something going on or, you know, something last minute came up. Maybe they already had plans and they couldn't respond to what you had texted and, and go to what you asked them to because they didn't want to hurt your feelings. Maybe they're going through their own situation or what something that testing that they had done and maybe they didn't want to share it with anybody because they're not ready. So you really have to think about the $100 bill and the both sides to what the reality of it is and don't take things personally. So if you have to get a $100 bill or just, you know, get a fake one, put it on your car, put it at your desk and really try and remind yourself that, okay, one, they probably didn't respond right now. They have something else going on. Two, there's probably a reason. And I think the biggest thing that we also need to worry about and think about is that you really don't have to be invited to everything. You don't have to be a part of everything. And I think that we need to be constantly reminded of that fact and, and look at things in a different perspective because your mind, your thoughts can really take you down and take you down a horrible path. Um, and it just makes you feel horrible about yourself. And nobody needs to be in that mindset or that life because it's really not a good place to be. Stacy, I was excited when I saw that you were going to be on the program today. I follow you on Instagram. For those who don't, she's Mrs. Michigan. And you, you are honey. very, very positive. And when you see a post, it kind of will help shift how I'm thinking. But you were a very social person. And mm -hmm. out at so many community events. And for all of us that rely on socialization and the parties and being involved and volunteering and we've had to take a back step to that and mm -hmm. now we're having to spend more time at home with just a few people if someone is starting to go down that path of feeling lonely how do you advise them to shift out of that very simple 
one, you can kind of stop looking at the social media aspect until you get yourself in check because people are always posting ha happy, positive things. Of course, you know, you get your one or two that post something negative, but, you know, looking at other people's lives and comparing them to yours because you're out there, oh man, I could have been to that. I should have been to that. And here I'm home and I have to worry about, you know, not getting anyone exposed or just, you know, it's a mental mind game. But once you get beyond that point, there's something that I call the Positive Shift Toolkit, and it's called CCD, which is Cancel, Clear, Delete. Again, Cancel, Clear, Delete. If you say that three times, if you're in that, neg that negative space, the negative you know, zone that you're in, and you say, uh, Cancel, Clear, Delete, Cancel, Clear, Delete, Cancel, Clear, Delete, it really does help you uh, stop thinking negative. And then if you need to go further, stop your negative thoughts is you have an affirmation or what I like to call a mantra. And it's, I am awesome, successful, and smart. I succeed at what I put my mind to. Again, I am awesome, successful, and smart. I succeed at what I put my mind to. So if you say the cancel, clear, delete three times, you say the mantra three times. And let me give you a little tip because I like ways to remember things. You can remember, remember awesome, successful, and smart by ask. ASS, awesome, successful, and smart. And if you say that, it gets yourself out of the mindset and start, you start to feel a little bit better. And then after, if you feel really sassy, you can say, I believe I receive, I believe I receive. And think of the arms up because it really does make you feel good. You are in control of your thoughts, your outcome, knowing that simple tool of the CCD and the affirmation and help. Roll your arms up, it does make you feel better and it gets you out of your negative zone, your negative thought space. And, you know, again, you may not be in control of the situation, but you sure in the heck are in control of your outcome. Stacy Renee with us. She is a motivational strategy speaker and mindset life coach with us on the Oakland County Megacast. So for some people, this is something that they can adopt pretty quickly, but for others, it's going to be a gradual process because they're used to overthinking things I used to be I tend to be someone that overthinks things and there's other people that tend to just be negative from the onset and have that 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 negative mindset just naturally so for them to, to change how they're thinking how they operate how they go about thinking about different situations and changing their mindset it's gonna be so it's gonna be more gradual what kind of steps should they be taking as they're easing into this because it's not something you can just flip a light switch on and move to no. to move toward those positive coping strategies right absolutely there's a couple of steps and here's the thing is this you know if you're going to think that you're going to wake up every single day and it's sunshine and roses and butterflies are coming at you i got news for you that's hard to live up to and even i i don't wake up like that every day but a positive thought in the morning really does make a difference in how your day is going to be so when you get up in the morning when you're brushing your teeth this is a great remembrance it's you know, have a little sticky note on your bathroom and, and say something positive or say something that you're grateful for while you're brushing your teeth. That you, you brush your teeth at night before you go to bed. And you can you can think about the positive things and really start your day off right. If you wake up and you're not feeling good, you're just feeling funky. Um, and I had I was feeling a little off this morning because I had a headache. I'm like, you know what? Take time for myself, rethink how I'm waking up and just move on my day. So Brush your teeth, think of something positive. And the other thing is, is we have between 50 and 7,500 thoughts a day, which is great, but the problem with that is 90% of those thoughts carry on to the next day. And you're creating a habit for yourself of thinking negative because we always tend to think more towards the negative zone. So when you become negative thinking, it's a habit. So just like anything else, when you're trying to learn something, you have to do it with practice. And the best way is to put, again, little sticky notes, and those are so easy to do, and, and make goals for yourself every single day, writing them down you know, before you get on your phone. What are you grateful for? What are you gonna accomplish that today that is realistic, arm length goals that you can accomplish? And if you need something to really get you going, make your bed every day, because at the end of the day, when you go to bed, you can at least see that one, you accomplished making your bed. And it's the little things that we, we take for granted that we don't think about. So by those simple tools, 
way of thinking and reshifting your mind and having those sticky notes, that's, that's really a huge step is the CCD, sticky notes, affirmations. Um, and if you're at a computer, look at your computer. They've got control, alt, delete. Stacey, so we can really oh. think differently if we want to. Stacy, with all these strategies that you can employ, just in a general sense, it, for some people it's going to have to be piecemealed here and there. Like you had said, it's not going to be something that just happens, right. and it's really difficult for a lot of people. So what are some suggestions you have for people to, throughout their day, continue on this journey and make an effort at this? Because it's something you got to constantly work at. What would be a strategy yep. you would you would give to people in the morning, when they, right away when they wake up, in the middle of their day when they're at the peak of their stresses, and at the end of their day when they're trying to wind down, clear their head, and get some sleep. Absolutely, there's two things. One, everybody has a phone. The most important thing is take your phone and put reminders in the morning when you know you're gonna wake up, put a reminder. Say my positive affirmation and things that I'm grateful for. Set it again into the afternoon. Set it again in the after, you know, around three o'clock or whenever you start to have your dip in the day and set it again for the evening and put it on the everyday reminder. It can't get easier than that. And honestly, that's what I do. I have affirmations on my phone. I have sticky notes. And you know, if, if you really want, I gotta tell you, I have a book and it's an intentional, easy read and it has the steps, it has the tools. You can read and, and keep that by you. And just, again, it's constant changing. The sticky notes, I have you know, it's all over. I also have um, a book right here that every day when I wake up in the morning, I actually put, you know, what I'm grateful for, the things that the exercise, because exercise is super important, and then what I'm going to do and I'm going to accomplish. And you now here's another one is I have in here, everything is always working for me. So sometimes I'll choose a mantra for the day and I will say it all day long. And it kind of puts a little extra pep in my step if I start to get negative thoughts. I'm like, nope, everything is always working my way today. And again, you have to be mindful of it just as if you're being mindful of the negative thoughts. Shift them, redirect them, get it out of there. If you're having a crappy day, shift it just like that because you can totally do that. It's just you have to be mindful of it. These are great tips and tools for us to work on as individuals. But are there any that you could do to help someone else, such as a mom or a parent for their kids? Absolutely. I have my own kids say a mantra. And when they are start to, starting to get really frustrated or if they have a bad dream and they wake up in the middle of the night, they actually have a mantra. And um, it's just a personal one, and I'll share it with you, is, I am a very powerful magnet and I ask and command all good things that the universe has to offer that is my best good. Come to me, so be it. It is done now in divine order. Amen and thank you. And it just is something that's personal to us, something that they say. And then we, you know, when we stay together, you know, we start to say, I am a very powerful magnet. And we can fully believe about it. And then we all at the very end, we do the, I believe I receive. I believe I receive. Because If you don't think your energy and your thoughts are, are really things, think about when you really start to cry. It's so emotional to cry. Think about it in the opposite sense. When you're really happy and you just get yourself excited, even if you're not, or just put the music on and dance around for the moms who are really having a stressful day, change the tune right there. Don't get upset. Don't continue to feed into it. Turn some music on and just say, let's have a dance party. And it really does help. And if you really need it and you're at work, walk away, go to the restroom, just rethink how your your energy is right then and just shift it. It's truly that easy, but you have to be mindful of it to do it. Stacy Renee with us. She's a motivational strategy speaker and mindset life coach. Stacy, just a couple more minutes with you. Uh, you. You touched on some some strategies you provide to your kids when they have a bad dream or they're having a bad a bad day. What are some other strategies that p the parents can work on with their kids to, like themselves, gradually bring them into a more positive mindset? If your child is sitting there saying, "Oh, I'm bored. I don't know what to do." or they're just like, I'm not any good at that. You know, 
as the parent, you have to be the role model to tell them that if they're sitting there saying, I'm not good at that, they're saying, I am not good at it. You need to help them reshift and say, but you know what? What are you good at? And, and just start pulling the positive things in to what they are good at, because not everybody's gonna be the best at everything and they are gonna be getting frustrated and they're not gonna know what to do. Find something fun. Just take five minutes out of whatever you're doing in your busy day and and just take a few minutes to talk about being positive. Don't turn it into a lecture because my kids like to say, I do. And I'm like, hey, I'm just trying to tell you I care and I want great things. And think about great things like, oh, well, if you could do anything in the world, what you want to, what would you want to be? Explore their minds a little bit. Tell them to think about different things and oh, what are you going to say today? I am awesome, successful, and smart. I see it what I put my mind to. And again, excited because if they see that you, the parent, are excited, they're going to feed off of that. Just like if you're at a party or you're at, you know, some place, where do you gravitate to? You gravitate to that person who is lighting up the room, who's having fun. Are you going to go to that person that's just sitting there by themselves? Absolutely not. You're going to be the role model for your kids. You're going to be the role model for the people at work. You're going to be the role model for any place that you go as long as you control your feelings and you think positively. And yes, I know it's very difficult, but remember the $100 bill, the front side, me, myself, and I, the back side, there's always two sides to every story. And here's the thing, $100 bill has the same value, whether it's the front or the back, the back and you do matter. And I think we forget about the value of our own selves a lot of times. So be mindful of yourself. If you don't respect and value yourself, how are other people going to? And that's what I really instill in my kids right now, especially for them standing up for themselves during these times because of the social media and people being so into their own thoughts and their own you know, living vicariously through other people. So just be mindful. Stacy, very Stacy, we appreciate having you on with us. Anything else before we let you go today? You can't lead a positive life with a negative mind. And until then, don't coast a neutral, positive shift ahead and be in control of your own thoughts. I'm Steve Renee. So much for having me today. We appreciate having you on. Stacy Renee with us. She's a motivational speaker and a and a uh, sorry, motivational strategy speaker and a mindset life coach with us on the Oakland County Megacast.